Me and Toby are working on clearing this section of weeds out. Not quite sure what we're going to do with it quite yet. If I want to fill it with roses or lavender. Not sure if you have any ideas. That's where the sun sets. And there's a tree and a house. And so I don't know anything about plants, but a plant that would do really good there and look really pretty right here. Well, hi, Toby. What are you doing? Um, just playing outside. You're home on your vacation. Yes. And so I got you a prize at Grocery Outlet. Bargain Market? Yep, yeah, close your eyes. Keep them close, don't you? Okay. I know this is one of your favorite things. Eggnog. <laughs> Could you imagine how nice <laughs> that would be? This is like 20 for a dollar. Okay. Open your eyes. <laughs> Star Wars sparkling grape juice. I'm going to have me some fizzle. And I might just even sit in the hot tub too and start my vacation out <laughs> in luxury. Clear. Star Wars sparkling Great Thanks for joining us, America. <laughs> so, uh, it's the weekend and it's vacation! Yeah! So, I hustled. I might have ran, but no, I'm not supposed to run. Um, but I got off at like 4.30, just came home. I took a little break, sat in the hot tub, and then the rain stopped and it started getting nice and I was like, well, better get out and start digging. So I dug two posts, put them in. So now it's time to concrete them in. And um, then after those set, we can get this fence up, stretch it, get it tight. So that's the plan for tonight, tomorrow morning. So wish us luck. I didn't say gate that time. Did you say gate? No, I said fence. Hi, you get the pay now. Where'd you get them from? Um, from the lid. From the lid? Yeah. Yeah. He heard a turkey, so he had to get his reed. Well, yeah. It's Did spring you turkey know season. If a, if a turkey walks in our yard, <laughs> it will be shot. Do it. You can get it. Hey! Would you look at that? My wife went to the Habitat for Humanity Restore and bought a brand new light there for $8. And now, since we've had it wired up forever, now we can actually use it and it won't cause a glare on the TV anymore. And we'll actually have ample lighting for the space. So, it's raining out a little bit today, but I woke up and I saw some turkeys outside, but they weren't on our property. They were way on the other side of the property, uh, some other neighbor's property. So I came out, I turkey called a little bit while I was working. All of a sudden I turn and look and there's two toms, so I'm going to see if uh, 
The issue is I found my bow. I can't find my rangefinder or release. I know. I know. So I'm going to go and find those and see if I can shoot myself a turkey on my property. How crazy would that be? That'd be awesome. Hello, America. Um... Got this post set, concreted in. So just nailed it to there. We're gonna strap the other side to the quad, pull that way and see how tight this fence can get. Then we're gonna put this fence up and then that section of the property will be fenced off. So Bandit can stay over here and not get out and get into the cow field. And same with the girls, they can stay over here and eat down the grass so we don't have to mow as much. So last night we got the left side of the gate uh, all hooked up and I was actually pretty impressed with how tight it got because we're new to this whole fence thing so we threw some up and they're super wobbly but you know we concreted in some posts pulled it stretched it and made a world of a difference so we'll see how tight this one gets hopefully just as tight as the other one so we thought for sure this little tree that we planted was just a dead stick in the ground but I looked at it the other day and it's got buds it's a miracle. Step on the bottom. Yeah, probably closer to right here. Ooh, that looks really tight. All our good hammers are inside somewhere. Fencing is kind of hard to see in a video, but it looks so nice and finished and now like we'll have like our separate zones for grazing and yard and whatever else. It's so nice to have it just separated. possibly getting more gravel this week for the driveway um, I'm sure you saw the potholes and puddles in the driveway but what we're kind of thinking is after we do the addition on the house that little parking spot over there won't be there anymore because it'll be like extension of the house and then the rest will just be filled with grass so we're thinking about making like like a little parking lot kind of right here and then when we do a fence we'll put up a nice white rail fence right there so Jared's gonna get the tractor and dig it up and kind of flatten and see exactly where we would want it. And we might get more gravel this week. Correction, next week. All right, so that's probably where it will start. Well, that took no time at all. When the grass is actually like not two feet tall or three feet tall and there's no trash, it actually mows like it's supposed to. It's actually kind of fun. Oh yeah. We're on our way, folks. Sometimes when you're new to the tractor world, you get your tractor stuck. And the tractor's out, but now the truck's stuck. Jared had to go help somebody uh, with a couple things and so he just left so hopefully when he gets back we can get the truck unstuck and move on with progress <gasps> what
I told you I was gonna bring you home something special. <laughs> you got no. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw you guys behind the tree. I was like, that's not Justin Christian. Uh, well, you guys came just in time to help Drake at the truck and stuff. <laughs> I can't believe you guys really here. Oh my goodness, this is <laughs> Something's wrong with the quad where it's almost like a not a brake on, but it's something like it holds up a little bit. I tried to get a throttle, so you gotta find that sweet spot. But huh. Toby, what are you doing? Are you so excited? Yeah. Are you so excited? Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's night, it's Sunday night, end of the week, and this week we Wait. got... Resurrection Sunday night. Truth. Yep. And boy, are we grateful for the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so we got absolutely not a lot done at all. Yeah, not zero. We did finish the fence, we fit, except yeah, for like uh, the little yeah. uphill part. We got to finish that. <clears throat> did some yard work. Yep. Mowed the lawn, which is so much easier than last week because... We didn't have a few feet of grass to cut, so that was nice. And I buried the uh, tractor in the mud, and mowing the, the field, and then she had the brilliant idea, we'll just use the winch on the front of the truck. So Lane I did, shifter. and the truck went yeah. and sunk bad, like real bad. But and thank so you, Mike. Mike we owe you big. Out. He came out with the chain and he literally had to jerk us out like a few times. <laughs> But he but we did got good, out. So we thanks, got out, Mike. So. But the highlight of the weekend was Jared brought me a Dutch Bros. Yep. And my family came, <laughs> which you saw that video. I'm sure if you didn't see it, then I'll post it right here. No, that, it's, it, it's in this one. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's in this one. Here. So you saw it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm on vacation, and so we are going to get a ton of work done. My parents are coming tomorrow, too. Actually, they're spending the night tonight. We're having a massive sleepover at the Hess. We're all camping in here pretty yeah. much at the Hess home and we are going to get up early maybe go to breakfast haven't decided yet um and then we're just gonna work all day yep. get lots done and so you guys be prepared for some real time lots and lots of progress this and week i'll see if i can't snag a few insider tips from the dad pros oh because we got fun. two of them with us yep. tomorrow so join us next week Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. And be prepared for some progress next week. Love ya! <laughs> <laughs>